Yo, what's good? It's Andrew from ProducerSociety.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to download uh, plugins in GarageBand iOS. I'm probably going to show you how to do download plugins in Mac OS as well, just because, you know, why not? It only, it's only going to take a second. There's already been, there's been some updates to uh, GarageBand with Catalina, so I'll just, I'll just go through that quickly as well because it won't take too long. But anyway, so I'm going to show you how to download plugins right now. So what you want to do is uh, the primary difference is that you're going to want to go into the app store. So that's how you download all your apps that, or rather your plugins for GarageBand. So in this case, I'm going to choose the DLYM delay modulator from Imaginato. And um, this is a great delay modulator. We'll use it as an example. It's probably one of the better plugins that you can get uh, for GarageBand iOS. It's high quality. So we're just going to click on that. It's a cloud because I already downloaded it before. So yeah, it's just what we're doing right now. We're just going to wait for this to download. And uh, yeah, it took a long time for me to get this set up because uh, I was having some issues with ScreenFlow and it took me like the last hour of doing like upgrades and, um, you know, software updates to get everything running again because I couldn't get it to work. But anyway, so here's the, D the DLYM delay modulator. So it's open in the phone right now. This is it's actually opens as, as its own uh, separate software, but we don't want to do that. Right. We don't want to do that. We want to open it up in GarageBand regardless. So we're, we just we just went out of that. There's the app. So what you want to do is you go into your GarageBand, click on GarageBand. I'm going to turn it this way. So as I laid out in my article, which you, you can check out on my website, you just hit this plus sign on the top right corner. I'm going to try and keep it slow for you so you know what I'm doing. But yeah, just the top right hand corner this is the plus sign. Click on that. What I do is I go down to Smart Piano on the bottom left hand side, Smart Piano. It's going to bring you up to all these key signatures and stuff, right? Um, so what you want to do from here is you click on the little white bars in the top left-hand side. Just click on that. By the way, I got a present for you. Go to ProducerSociety.com slash free mixing cheat sheet. That'll put you on my list to get a free mixing cheat sheet. And I send all kinds of cool tips and stuff that I don't share anywhere else. You can also join my forum at forum.producersociety.com. Um, for now, it's totally free to sign up, but uh, in the future, I'll probably lock it down and then turn it into a full course platform. And, that, and then what you want to do is you want to hit on the, you want to hit the next little button that looks like a bunch of faders on the top left-hand side again. So you hit that. So now we're into the smart controls. So you hit plugins and EQ, which you can see right here. Plugins EQ. Then you want to hit edit. So you hit edit right there. Then you go none. And then so now you, you can see the effects and stuff like I talked about in the article, all the additional effects that it comes with. But we don't want that. We want to go into the audio unit extensions. So right here, there it is. The DLYM Imaginato uh, delay modulator. So you click on that. Let's click on it again to bring it up in the interface. And uh, there we go. So now the plugin is loaded into GarageBand. And it's, uh, that's just, it's as simple as that. In many ways, I would say that uh, downloading plugins in GarageBand iOS, it's actually even simpler um, just because all of the, the plugins, uh, they've been vetted by the App Store already. So you shouldn't have any issues at all with getting any of these plugins to work with GarageBand. Unlike with uh, some of the ones, the third-party plugins that you download with Mac OS. But yeah, that's how you do it. And additionally, you can find out more, right? So uh, let's go edit again. Let's go into none. If you want to find out more, you want to find out uh, more apps and more plugins, just go find more in the App Store. And you can actually get like a whole list. You can get like a whole, like all kinds of plugins. And I think the, the most amazing thing about GarageBand iOS in terms of the plugins it's just how inexpensive they are. So, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, Mac OS plugins where, you know, you're, you're, gonna, you're usually going to pay 50 bucks plus for a solid plugin. You know, like think of something like Melodyne, like it's $100 minimum. Um, you can pay up to 1000 for it. And, um, you know, most plugins are going to cost you a bit of money. Um, with that said, they're much better on Mac OS. But regardless, like you can get plugins in here for, you know, $3, $5, uh, there's a really, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a really cool amp that you can get for 20 bucks. I forget where it is, but um, yeah, regardless, they're very, they're very, very inexpensive. So they're cool. And uh, make sure you check out my article too, because I have a big list of plugins that you can actually try out. I think I had, I think there's like 40 of them that I threw in there, but uh, yeah, that's how you do it, man. It's, uh, it's as simple as that. And uh, make sure you like, and subscribe. 
And if you liked the video, if you didn't like it, make sure you like and subscribe anyway.